So the Verde Canyon Railroad is a 40 mile return journey through 100 years of history, dramatic scenery and hopefully some wildlife. Now I travel because it leads me on a journey, oftentimes within myself, but sometimes to places where few people can go. And this area, the Verde Canyon, is only accessible by the Verde Canyon Railroad. Champagne on arrival. What is the way to start a train journey? Welcome to the Verde Canyon Railroad. Cheers. Looking forward to a beautiful train journey. So for an extra $20, you can get a first class ticket, which gives you appetizers, access to a cash bar, and comfy chairs. Well worth it, I think. So the Verde River has come through standing here and carved it out. You've got cottonwoods on the banks of the river, which I'd imagine when they're in full bloom just look spectacular in the high sandstone cliffs. It's just gorgeous. Those, that red rock country of Sedona that we love so much. What a wonderful way to see it. I need to go and get my glass of wine to appreciate this view. class everyone gets access to an open air carriage and I suggest you come and spend the majority of the train journey here. The views are spectacular and we've hardly spent any time indoors because who can resist the colour of these uh, cliffs and the mountains in here and out here you have a staff member who is telling you loads of cool stories and information about the area including where mountain lions hang out, the caves nearby. Shout out to our sponsor of this video, Allianz Travel, who is all about the journey and the why behind your travels. So don't forget to share it with them on their social channels. You travel because why? For us, this journey and these red rocks are what it's all about. Whilst on board, there's a cash bar or card or cash. Uh, you can enjoy some local beers. I'm having a, a, an Oak Creek Brewery Pale Ale. And the tip is you can get a glass of wine for $8 or a bottle of wine for $16 and take the bottle with you. So for me, that's a no brainer. Or for Kaz. Um, so yeah, cheers. After two hours, the train journey stops at the ghost town of Perkinsville, which used to be uh, where the train would run during the mining days, but now it's a ghost town. And the movie, part of the movie How the West Was Won, was filmed here. So we're going to turn around here at Perkinsville and make the two-hour journey back to Perkinsville. Take it off. It's going okay. to the back of the train now and it's going to attach it. 
itself and become the front of the train as we turn back. destination but the journey and I say a great way to finish a journey is with a whistle blaster. Now it's a coffee with Kahlua, Baileys, vodka and whipped cream. <laughs> yes, travel happy, travel well. Cheers to the Verde Canyon Railway. It's been a blast. <laughs> doo, doo. <laughs> Whoa, oh, that's good. Hey, thanks for watching this video as we road trip across the USA. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our next adventure. You can follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Y Travel Blog to see our current adventures with Goldie and the Beast.